And we begin tonight with breaking news in North Fort Worth. Two major roadways are closed right now, several hours after police got into a standoff with the suspect. Adriana de Alba is live near North Freeway in Loop 820. Adriana, what are you seeing right now? Oh, it's just a big mess, Chris. Just a huge, huge, crazy scene. Quite the scene, really. This standoff for poli with police has gone on for several hours. We hear cars honking, it's just cars stranded everywhere. But let me just pan over so you can see. Um, this is 820 and I-35W, where traffic closed in all directions for several hours. You've had drivers stuck in traffic for miles, backed up for miles. We just learned, though, that some parts are starting to reopen. Now, this all started as a police chase. It ended on an exit ramp where the man involved is still sitting. There's a large police presence with a SWAT unit right now talking with that man. Remember, a similar standoff incident occurred earlier this week. That was on 183 near Industrial. Well, here we are again. And right now, these cars, they've been stalled, like I said, for miles. Many of these people just trying to get home from work tonight, but now at a standstill. Moments ago, I did speak with an Oklahoma woman who also happens to be a journalist. She's on her way home from an anniversary trip and told me she got stuck in the thick of that backup. Traffic is horrendous, so I'm going to just kind of move around a little bit and let you see traffic. People are back up. People are outside their cars. Uh, I know that people are going to start running out of gas probably soon. And, uh, and I know that I've heard a couple of people say that, um, you know, they have to find a way to go get some bathroom breaks uh, and stuff. This is really, really unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. And a lot of people just taking in this scene. If they're not stuck in the traffic, you have people off to the side just pulling out chairs and really watching this all unfold. But she did show us around the woman we spoke to. Um, she told us that there were people with young kids in the car who were stuck for more than three hours. So you can imagine the frustration that they're all dealing with. And she did give me that update that things are starting to move. So everyone here tonight just hoping for a quick and peaceful resolution. For now, live in Fort Worth, I'm Adriana de Alba.